we are delighted to welcome you back at the start of this new term. We ended last semester with a film on the topic of single skin facades. Now, we're going to take a look at what happens when a facade is made up of two masonry skins. The first film in this Double Skin Facades series links back to the last film of last semester, so we will start with a quick review of the many key characteristics of building shells. A building shell forms the boundary between the interior of a building and the environment outside of it. The weather in Northern Europe means that the environmental and living conditions prevailing on either side of this boundary vary significantly over the course of a year. These differences between inside and outside can even be reversed. The job of the building shell is to keep these two environments separate. The building shell stops water outside of the building from coming inside where its residents and users would prefer to stay dry. There are also cases in which water needs to remain inside the building and so must be prevented from leaking out. Waterproof layers are laid on the wet side of a structure to prevent damp from penetrating the fabric of the building. The building shell can also serve to separate a very hot or cold environment outside from pleasant temperatures inside. Because energy is used to create the interior temperatures, it's important to slow down the reduction in temperature difference between inside and outside an effect of heat transmission losses through the building shell. This means that building shells in Northern Europe need thermal insulation. The building shell must also avoid drafts caused by wind, which can be caused by air pressure difference or ventilation units, for example. If a building is not windproof, air will be able to move back and forth between the inside and the outside through gaps. This results in so-called infiltration heat loss during the period when the interior is being heated. Glazed sections of a building shell allow daylight to penetrate the building and make it possible to see from the darker to the lighter side. The building shell is often required to eliminate this difference between light and dark, for instance when the interior needs to remain dark during the day or in order to prevent people from looking into a lit building at night. A building provides protection against environmental risks such as bad weather and uninvited guests. Conversely, the building shell may also be required to prevent captive wild animals or prisoners from escaping. We generally want the inside of a building to be quiet even if there's a lot of noise outside. Alternatively, we may want to protect the environs of a building from noise being made within its walls. Another of the functions of a building shell is therefore to prevent the transmission of sound in both directions. Openings in building shells let daylight in and provide the means by which we can enter and leave. They also allow us to see what's happening outside of a building from the inside and vice versa. In practice, a building shell often has to perform all these different functions together rather than one at a time and also to adapt quickly to changing environmental demands. The more complex the functions that a building shell has to perform, the less likely it is to do so with one single building material for the exterior walls. Summary A building shell forms the boundary between the interior of a building and the environment outside it. The key characteristics of the building shell depend on the environmental conditions prevailing outside of it. They include the ability to keep rain out, to minimise heat loss and to provide protection against noise and danger. The more complex the functions that a building shell has to perform, the less likely it is to do so with one single building material for the exterior walls. Please take a look at the second film in our Double Skin Facades series in which we consider why exterior walls are made up of different layers.